So I wasn't sure if I was going to make this video today because I'm not sure I'm in the right frame of mind to do it, but then I thought it's even more important I make it in this frame of mind because this video is as much for me as it is for anyone who's watching it right now. I give myself very good advice, but I very seldom follow it. Cheers, Alice. You can take lunch now. Um, we live in a world where not caring is considered to be cool. Oh, look at them. So arty. So dreamy. Look at them. Look at how little of a shit they give. They don't give a shit about anything. But no, because inherently they give a shit enough about being perceived as someone who doesn't give a shit that they're passionate enough about it to convey that idea to their persona. Do you, do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Not caring is not cool. As a t-shirt slogan, if ever I heard one. A very wise and beautiful human once told me that life is about perceptions. So, life is what you make it. Accidentally just quoted a Talk Talk song there. Baby, life's what you make it. Video ends, everyone's happy. <laughs> There's this huge sense of complacency in today's society where we just think, this is shit, and there's nothing I can do about it, therefore I'm not going to do anything about it. Do you see the problem there? No, don't do that. That's not good. No. Change can only be made once you start giving a shit about something. Don't just sit and accept these negative things. Give a shit about them. Give a shit harder than you've ever given a shit in your entire life. And by doing so, you're going to inspire other people to give a shit. Inspiration starts with you. Ants tip of the week. Not going to make that a regular segment. I apologise wholeheartedly. Once you start giving a shit, you're then inspiring other people to give a shit as well. Whether it be about the same thing, whether it be an opposing argument to what you're giving a shit about, you're still inspiring other people. You're doing it all the time. Every time you give a shit, you're telling someone else that they should give a shit. Shit, 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 shit. Saying that a lot, I apologise. Passion is really sexy. Uh, is probably the best way I can sum it up. Um, there's nothing more wonderful or fulfilling in this world than talking to someone about what they're passionate about. And passion comes from giving a shit. Be passionate about stuff, talk to people about what you're passionate about, because it, it, it's great. <laughs> Summed that up nicely, didn't I? Do it, because it's great. Hey. Do you love, uh, I don't know, hiking? Hiking. If you love hiking, shove your walking boots in someone's face and go, Hiking is awesome! And they'll go, Hmm, okay, yeah, hiking does sound awesome, yeah, tell me about it. Also, get your boots out of my face, you maniac! They never quite reach puberty, it's unfortunate, but at least it gives them uh, an interesting quality to their uh, personality. What am I saying? Like, literally, what is going on? Side note, you don't have to be good at something to be passionate about it. I love food and I love cooking, but that by no stretch of the imagination means that I'm an expert. Um, I'm very much a firm believer of, you're gonna eat it, so it doesn't really matter what it looks like as long as it tastes good. You should try my Thai green curry. Oof, I make a wicked Thai green curry. Spicy, but not pleasant to the eye. Literally, or figuratively, like don't stick curry in your eye. There you go, I'm just teaching you so much today, aren't I? But there's this amazing feeling you get out of watching someone do something they're passionate about or talk about what they're passionate about. It's one of the rawest forms of honesty. It's like you talk to someone about what they're passionate about and they'll never be more candid than that, I don't think. Also, when I say you should give a shit, that doesn't mean you have to be happy all the time. That doesn't mean you have to be optimistic and positive about everything. You can give a shit about bad things and like you can be sad and still give a shit. You can be sad because you give a shit. My camera just stopped filming there because I got to the 10 minute mark. Clearly I am talking too much. So let's let's get going. Let's get this conversation on the treadmill. Do 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 the windmills. <laughs> Easy childish Gambino. I've not really been giving a shit about a lot of stuff recently. Um, I've sort of been in a bit of a... I guess the best way to explain it is I've been in a big sulk. It's made me realise I need to give more of a shit. Uh, mostly about myself, I think. 
So my camera started steaming up towards the end of the footage, so I'm just gonna do the end bit again handheld. I know from experience that giving all your shits to other people leaves you shitless. It's becoming less metaphorical and more a visceral, literal image now, isn't it? And that's a surefire way to get destructive and self-abusive. Give a shit about yourself because people give a shit about you. Give a shit about yourself because your opinion is important and your opinion of yourself is also very important. Um, Give a shit about yourself because, well, because you deserve to, really. Like, you, you're a miracle. You're amazing. You're beautiful. You're this wonderful creature. That's worth giving a shit about, surely. No, we're not talking about my silly new haircut today. Not quite at Mike Fowl's own level of advice yet, but we're working towards it. We'll get there. We'll get there. God, my arm hurts. You're not meant to handheld vlog with a DSLR. You're not meant to do it. Oh, no. This, that's not good.